I was, I, I'm a little intimidated I because I think you're such an incredible actor, and I saw you last year, in uh, in your play and Journey's, Journey's End, and it was amazing. And what was even more amazing was your all's Easter bonnet skit, which was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it really was. It really was great. Well, it was so inspired. I, I saw a couple of guys from uh, uh, from the company the other night saying, you know, we won everything. They won, you know, they won best revival in every possible category, and it's the only show we've ever done that, and won the. Easter Bond. Right? It's right. Amazing. But on to Gypsy. It's um, a play last year, a musical this year, and you're playing Herbie, which is is the character that I always feel is completely overlooked, but the most crucial character for, for I believe, to, to, to really push the story and to push Mama Rose in the direction where she's going. And I, I, I'm really happy for you that you were acknowledged. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a great role. Uh, 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 I have heard it called thankless but right yeah yeah okay. thank you thank, thank that you. yeah yeah that's a lot of thanklessness right there <laughs> yeah, in your hands exactly. <laughs> As an audience member, I personally like to cons- to see a continuous story, sure. and I like to see characters that are grounded in reality. And stopping a show for a number sometimes distracts me. Um, and but there's the differences between you know Dainty June no, doing absolutely. Moo Cow. No, absolutely. Um, yeah, and there are you know there are these. I mean that's it's such an interesting mix of styles anyway because the you know the vaudeville is woven into the story, the burlesque is woven into the story, and then there are times when the scenes take on some of those qualities. But it's done so deftly. You know this this weaving in and out uh, and uh, through the the tapestry of the story. <laughs> that, uh, that, what were you saying? Yeah, You're an actor studio. That, uh, uh, you know it's just so masterful. Patty and I, you know, there are a few moments off stage. We'll just sit there and go, look how he, look how they've done yeah. this. The three of them, look how yeah, they. The construction is just. Uh, no, it's amazing. It's and amazing. you know, you go from you go from the you know the Dainty June and the Mook, sure. you know, the whole that that whole thing, and then you go right into the uh, Granziger's office scene and then the play takes this dark turn and slowly you know but and then by the time you get to you know everything's coming up roses you know this really happy song that happened you know which is a big you know anthem of denial right totally what's this you know she's going to make her, this new plan and coming from the the lowest place that she yeah. could possibly exactly. come from and, and everybody ends and you know yeah, like you the said, terror. terror. Well, terror even for it. you, it's cold, exactly. white, it's, hot terror. It's absolutely, oh yeah. my God! Yeah. What what hell? What, what fresh what? hell is this? Exactly, could be exactly. your moment to actually have a relationship with her is completely. No, it's completely obliterated by you know this unrelenting desire. But but as you say, I think that's I think that's what people recognize. They go, oh, I understand this. It's you know that hasn't gone away. If we live in New York City and it's you know full of Mama Roses every and, day, you know, every minute <laughs> no, of it, exactly. every energy, you, you feel it. We all have a little of it, Mama yeah. Rose. We all have a little bit of Tony and Mama Rose in us. I think I just wanted to. Yeah, exactly. There's a little bit, a little of, bit Mama of Broadway Rose in everyone. everyone. A little bit of Broadway in everyone. Yeah, exactly. There's that limited degrees. <laughs> I'm going to head after this. I just wanted to say very quickly about the what I was so touched by your performance and all of you, certainly the main, the core family, the family of the way, I don't know if you, when you guys rediscovered it, it's so strong, the dynamic well, between uh, it uh, as a, Again, that's what made it so painful. Well, I, mean, I, I, you know, I certainly hope so. I mean, yeah. you know, one of the things that, are, that uh, uh, Laura and I talked about is that Herbie's leaving is a betrayal in itself. It's yes. a betrayal of of, yes. uh, uh, of his fatherhood to yeah. Louise. Yes, you know that she's she's she didn't she shunned a huge him. She shunned moment. Him. Sure. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, yeah, and uh, and, uh, and when you realize that uh, you know I see it so clearly in her performance later as Gypsy Rose Lee, you yes. just steely you know it's like something I've has been screwed yes, over. Yes, you know I've been abandoned. So it's true. not just you. Yeah. Well, and you certainly made it come to life, glorious life, because okay. you know not just because of that, but because of also the emotion that we're talking about. But that's well, a great oh, little thing. Yeah, it's, you know, you know, you know it's, it's, yeah, play. it's a great play. Well, this is icing on the cake. Yeah. When you're obviously giving him a truly yeah. honest performance, yeah. and, and Laura could, I mean, we interviewed her, and she yeah, went and she on said, and on about yeah, yeah. how much of a family she feels like with you, yeah. and yeah. it must have been an incredible experience. I have a question, just from a, you know as an actor, your performance that you did at the Cine Center, compared to what you're doing now, what are what do you feel is have you feel like you've grown? Are there major differences? Do you feel it was more fresh then or it's just it, 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 it was it was different. I mean I, I think it was uh, to 
two specific things. First of all, the kind of audience that came to see it. You know, you, have you done encores? Have no, I've not. Oh, well, you, 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 you will, and 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 it is a kind of you know, it's it, it, it's so raucous and yeah. so. I mean, it was very much fueled by. Uh, Arthur calls them gypsy freaks, sure, and sure. then and then there were patty freaks. Right, right. They were waiting so for that. They were waiting, and right. so the combination of the two was this, you know, very volatile and vocal audience sure. uh, that I, I wouldn't say threatened to take over, but you know had to be managed in a certain way to make sure yeah. we were doing to to, to to our job and still let them enjoy sure. themselves. And that's for the story time. of the flow that we're talking about. That, yeah, that's yeah. right, and <laughs> and. Uh, uh, but we were, you know, it was three weeks rehearsal, two and a half weeks performance. Right. So, you, you know, it was more of a rough sketch. So as we went back into rehearsal, Arthur's goal was to slow it down, to go deeper, go darker, go simpler in a certain way. And Arthur's note over and over and over again was take your time, take your time, let things happen, do not rush ahead. Don't rush, and and uh, and I, I mean, you know, I think that that's the that's the difference. It's you know, it isn't the kind of uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, rock concert that it was at City yeah. Center, but so I it think it's yeah. a more Absolutely. you know, it's a deeper, more moving evening. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you the audience does bring that kind of hysteria with it, which I mean gets you going and and all of that. But it is very hard to take a breath. It's hard to think in in that moment because you're so aware of them because they are so present you know and we still have we still have uh, oh I know you got your you know, yeah, yeah. you know as you go in any run you get a complete mix and you know we, sure. we have we've had a, a, not many but we've had a few really quiet quiet you know houses you know crickets we had yeah. one started today it was like Sunday matinees are they there oh my god, they, they, yeah. oh my god. Well, I mean by the time they end they were up on their feet cheering and going crazy yeah, you know and win them over. but but you, yeah you do and, and, you, and you know and the hardest thing is to remember to trust this story sure. that you're telling you've got the great guide and, and, and you're, you're bringing it to life again thank you so much for doing it thank you for thanks for talking to us